Hey guys, first up, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra versus the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And guys, now let's see that how is the Exynos 2100 chipset stack up against the stack up against the last year Exynos 990 inside the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it and let's see which one is going to be the fastest one. And guys, now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Here we go. And the logo it is here a little bit more faster on my samsung galaxy s20 ultra and you can see and the boot up logo it is also a little bit changed as compared to before we have a samsung one ui 3.0 as compared to samsung one ui 3.1 on my samsung galaxy s21 ultra and you can see and still samsung galaxy s20 ultra it is much faster when it comes to booting up and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is take a lot of time and you can see and Samsung Galaxy S21 and now the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra it is also right behind there and you can see huge difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up and guess you can see that and both phones gave you a very similar display we have a quad HD dynamic AMOLED 120Hz refresh rate display on both these two devices and the difference between these two devices is the 120Hz refresh rate display technology. We have a LTPO display on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra which is also known as variable refresh rate and also both phones give you infinity or display and guys everything is closed up in the background and you can see no app is running in the background and also we have a same Wi-Fi network on both these two devices and the first application we have is the phone dialer little bit warm up and let's see which one is going to be the fastest one here we go and you can see that is face little bit more smoother on the samsung galaxy s21 ultra as compared to the s20 ultra both phones give you 120 hertz refresh rate space now let's see settings and that is exactly the same on both phones no difference here and we have 120 hertz refresh rate display on both phones and the good thing about the samsung galaxy s21 ultra is that you can use quad hd resolution with 120 hertz refresh rate display at the same time which is not really possible on the previous s20 ultra now let's see youtube and that is a little bit more faster on the new samsung galaxy s21 ultra followed by the s20 ultra let's see the scrolling and feels really smooth on both phones no lag whatsoever and guys now let's see some games application and let's see how is the new exynos processor is performed against the last year exynos 990 now let's see candy crush saga that is a little bit more faster on the samsung galaxy s21 ultra and you can see a little bit more faster on the new s21 ultra now let's see subway surfer on both phones and let's see this time who is performed faster again exynos new is faster on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra as compared to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and you can see about one second difference there in the second game application as well now let's see the pinout and that is exactly the same on both phones and you can see no difference there in this game application so now let's see the temper and two last game application we have in this speed test here we go and logic at the same time and new samsung galaxy s21 ultra it is a little bit more faster there and you can see you can see a little bit more faster on the samsung galaxy s21 ultra with the new exynos processor now let's open up the twitter faster on the new samsung galaxy s21 ultra followed by the s20 ultra now let's see spotify faster on the new samsung galaxy s21 ultra and you can see almost every application it is faster on the new samsung galaxy s21 ultra so now let's see snapchat and that is exactly the same on both phones now let's see play store a little bit more faster on the s21 ultra netflix that is a little more faster on the samsung galaxy s21 ultra followed by the s20 ultra instagram and that is exactly the same on both phones no difference there now let's see such application on both phones here we go and that is a little bit more faster on the new samsung galaxy s21 ultra with the exynos 2100 
Now let's check out Amazon shopping. Faster on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra as compared to the S20 Ultra. Now let's see the scrolling and feels really smooth on both phones. No lag whatsoever. Both phones perform really really smooth. And last I'm gonna launch the cameras on both phones. Default camera app and let's see which one is going to be the fastest one. Here we go. And that is a little bit more faster on the new Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra as compared to the S20 Ultra. And guys also and guys also both phones give you 108 megapixel main camera on the back, although the new Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra it is much better as compared to before because on the S20 Ultra we have some autofocus issues but now it is completely fixed with the new Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and also we have an additional zoom. Now let's see the internet browsing speed. I am seeing the first Samsung internet browser on both these two devices and the first website we have wikipedia.org same Wi-Fi network and that is exactly the same on both phones no difference there. Let's see the scrolling and feels really smooth on both phones and same thing with zooming in and out and you can see no lag whatsoever. Next on the list is the WWE.com and it is a happy website and you can see that new Samsung Galaxy I would say about the same on both phones. Again you guys are the judge of the speed test. So let me remove this. Now let's see the scrolling on both phones and feels really smooth on both phones. No lag whatsoever. I can see the 120Hz refresh rate madness on both these two devices no lag whatsoever and guys now let's check out the ram management on both phones and both phones give you a 12 gp of ram so i am really really excited to see that now let's see that who is performed better in the ram management area and you can see we have a lot of apps in the background so now let's start off with the phone dialer that is not refresh let's see settings youtube no refresh so far on both phones Let's see Candy Crush Saga. No refresh. Sabo Sefer. Let's see Pin Out. Let's see Temper and 2. Now let's check out the Twitter. And that is also not refresh on both phones. Spotify. Let's see Snapchat. Let's see Play Store. Netflix. Instagram. Zetch. Amazon Shopping. No refresh on both phones, it is an in-app refresh. Last we are back to the internet browser where we left and you can see. And guys over I have to say regarding the app's opening speed, it is a little bit more faster on the new Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra because we get a Exynos 2100 chipset which is based on 5 nanometer architecture. And guys also and the RAM management is absolutely incredible on both these two devices. So that's about it and thank you so much for watching my speed test between the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra versus the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Over I have to say that you can see that and the design language on the new S21 Ultra it is much better as compared to before. And also we get a matte finish on the back as compared to a glossy finish. And I will catch you in my next video. Peace out.